There's a phrase that goes like this. There are many ways to kill a cat. Or, there are many ways to skin a cat. Please don't confuse, you are not talking about skinning an animal here, but we are talking about many ways to achieve the same results, to get to the same thing, okay? Last week, we spoke about uh, tagging and how you can enforce compliance. And we then created a very small Lambda function using uh, Python that automatically gets triggered when you run instance, right? when you launch an instance. If your instance does not have any text, it will automatically terminate your instance before it gets to the pending state. Today, I want us to achieve the same thing. Of course, use uh, approaching it from a different angle. Um, last week, I think we were a bit rude, you know, of just terminating an instance. But this week, we want to make sure that the instance that not even gets to the launch state at all. If you don't comply, you can't even launch any instance. You can't. How are we going to do that? Today, we're going to use IAM policies. We're going to create policy document that will enforce that. So what I want us to do is we, we are going to sort of like dictate to a user how many, the minimum tags that are supposed to be in his uh, instance before it can actually uh, launch. So in our example, we're going to have two tags, right? The first tag, we will actually then have a list of tags that are allowed. If we say the first tag will be ENV for environment and this ENV, the, the key, that's uh, ENV, the value for this thing will be either dev, UAT or production. If you put anything other than these three, you won't be able to launch your instance. And then the second one, I mean, we, we, we can enforce, let's say we say cost center or business unit or anything that we want to put in there. Then we can then give a user a freedom to put any value that will go with that key called business unit or cost center. Look, when it comes to governance, it's up to you. You can be reactive or you can be proactive. How so? With being reactive, you can use things like AWS config where it lists all the servers that are not compliant, that being reactive. If you want to be proactive, it's fine. What you can do, you can write a Lambda function that makes sure that there are no instance get, that gets launched without being compliant. You can use IAM policies to make sure that you are proactive. It's up to you. You want to be proactive or reactive. Now, let's talk about IAM policies. We've got about three types of IAM policies. We've got AWS managed policies. We've got customer managed policies. And we've got what you call inline policies. AWS managed, as they, uh, it says, they are managed by AWS. And the nice thing is they can be used multiple times. You can attach it to a user, you can attach it to a role, you can attach it to a group, you can attach it to a crew, uh, to many users at the same time. Same thing with customer managed. But when it comes to inline policies, their lifespan is dependent on the role or the user that it is attached to. So we want to create an inline policy, knowing that when that user or role is deleted, that policy will be gone as well. Let me not waste time and uh, go to my AWS console. I'm here in my AWS uh, account. Let's see. Okay. So we're going to add a user. Let's call our user practice. Okay. And I don't want to create uh, 
I don't want to add a user into a group. So I'm just gonna create a tag here. Create user. And I'm going to, as I explained, I'm going to go with inline um, policy. So you have got a choice. You can you can decide to use JSON and you know write your policy document here, or you can use Visual Editor. You know I, I find it easy because uh, sometimes it's easy to make mistakes with JSON when you're writing. So what we're going to do here. The service is going to be EC2. We're going to uh, create a policy here that says you need to meet the condition of having to having created two at least two tags before it can create any EBS volume or even launch an instance. So create volume will be action and uh, run instance right and here we're just gonna go with instance and volume okay then we come to the interesting part where we add the condition so we're going to say here we want to AWS request tag and the key is going to be EMV and so we're going to say prod UAT or dev so we are saying the key will be ENV here and these are the values that you can choose from you can either make your instance part of production uat or dev but if you provide any anything beside this it won't succeed we need to add another one this time we are looking for tag keys then we are looking for and our keys is going to be env and let's go with um cost center add so we are done with this one let's go and add another one here still easy to the service and this time we want to one that will for creating tags and the resource will be instance and volume okay fine with this one let's add another one where we say we need to be able to describe our list so i'm just going to choose this one i will explain you will see that it has selected 144 114 uh, things there right I will show you, I will just go to the JSON and show you how to quickly um, cheat it uh, so that it does not list all these things. But for now, this is fine. I'm gonna add another one here. You see two. And under action here, let's go with run instance. And here we're going to go with image key pair network interface security snapshot subnet okay subnet snapshot security group network interface key pair and image cool so this is how our uh, a JSON document looks like now I want to show you what I want to do I'm just gonna highlight this part here all this and take it here 
and put asterisk to say anything that starts with describe uh, it doesn't matter what comes after it this way we have reduced our json policy from being that long json policy to this small so this is how it looks here this is our uh, uh, what to call this the keys uh, sorry the values and here are the, our keys so as i explained the cost center we can put anything i'm not dictating to you what you can put but when it comes to env um, i'm saying you can have you can have production uat or dev anything beside this won't work so let's review and give it a name say practice and we are done so what we're going to do going to jump to um, and log in as practice that I've put here okay now we are logged in let's see if our policy document works as expected so I'm going to go to EC2 I'm going to choose launch instance eligible for free tier and i'm not going to add any security uh, any tag at this moment and security group i'm going to go with the existing one review launch launch should not yes so it's fine going back add a tag env um, pre prod review and launch and still not working you are not authorized to perform this operation back we can add so our cost center we said it doesn't matter review and launch and even now should not it should not allow us to launch because we are still not using the correct value for env and it's not working so if we now put the correct one now we are able to launch our instance so this is the easiest way to enforce compliance and i hope you enjoyed this video and please share with others next time i'm going to show you how to use lambda function to auto tag your instances let's say uh, today what we have achieved we have in, we have forced the user to put at least two tags and we have even dictated what keys or tag keys that he or she can use next time what we're going to use we're going to make sure that on top of the ones that he has provided we are going to auto tag the instances or the resources with the username and other things just to show you that you can use cloud trade logs and a lambda function to auto tag all the resources and you will see that it's beneficial as well where you already have instances or resources and you are called to say we have already have 300 servers can you please help us to tag all these servers we can use lambda function to achieve that for now let's um, pack it here and we'll meet next time thank you very much